When the rhythm rhythms start to play, dance with me, make me sway. Like a lazy ocean holds the shore, hold me close, sway me more. Like a flower bending in the breeze, bend with me, sway with ease. When we dance, you have a way with me, stay with me, sway with me. Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go, we I can hear the sound of violins long before it begins. Make me thrillers, only you know how. Sway me smooth, sway me now. Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go weak. I can hear the sound of violins long before it begins. Make me thrill as only you know how. Sway me smooth, sway me now. Show me how, stay with me, sway with me, sway me now, show me how, sway me now. All right, well, here we go again. Yes, it is accordion cool, and I am uh, Coach Dave, that's who I am, and of course... Coach Linda. Well, yeah. Okay, Linda has coached. All right, Coach Linda. Lily. Sure. Why? Why not? Why not? And we're back at it again. And uh, as with our last show, I am still having accordion problems, so I have another borrowed accordion, and I am not real, real happy about it. But like I mentioned uh, last time. If Corey Pesatoro, our friend Corey, can win three world champions on a borrowed accordion, I can muddle through. So uh, we had some other technical problems, so I'm just going to play accordion today, and Linda's just going to sing, and we're going to do the best we can with what we got to work with. Absolutely. And that first song, of course, was Sway. It was written in 1954. I'm not really sure who wrote it. I believe it was a Latin song from somewhere in Latania, and uh, that it was <laughs> that it was translated into English. And the fellow had a big hit on it, Mr. Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Yeah. It's great on the song. Yeah, yeah. So he, uh, Dean Martin, had the big hit on Sway. So let me see, what's our next? Uh, we have an instrumental. Oh, we have an instrumental. Who's going to do? Th oh, I guess I'll do that. Means I sing by myself? No. No? No. That means you play by yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this tune, I've been doing this tune for a lot of years. It's basically, it was written as a ballad, a pretty ballad, but I haven't kind of messing with it a little bit, do it a little bit quicker. It was written in 1944. And it's sort of the unofficial state song of one of our New England states called Ver Vermont. Vermont is called Moonlight in Vermont. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
When they wrote that tune, the fellow that wrote the words, he got halfway through and he noticed nothing rhymed. Well, in songs, everything's got to rhyme, right? So he said, I won't say what he might have said, but he says, I'm just going to do the whole song like that. And that's if you know the words, pennies in the stream, falling leaves, a sycamore, moonlight in the one. Nothing that, you know, doesn't rhyme. So he said, deck it with it. We're going to leave it. We've got to play it that way, write it that way. So there. It was very popular. Oh yeah, very popular. I, it didn't I guess, matter that it didn't rhyme. I get, like I said, I guess it's the unofficial state song of Amman. I guess when they have uh, special festivities is sort of played all the time as the unofficial sort of state song. But I can't think of any other Vermont song, so it's kind of got to kind of be the official unofficial song. Yeah. Of this, but it's a pretty, pretty tune. Our next tune was written in 1963, and the first recording was done by a fellow named Ray Orbison. Mm -hmm. So for you folks who may be over the age of retirement, shall we say, you probably remember Ray Orbison. And he didn't have a real big hit on it. The big hit happened in 1977 young lady named Linda Ronstadt. She nailed it with a tune called Blue Bayou. Now, Blue Bayou is another one of those funny tunes that nothing seems to follow in place. So uh, I just follow Miss Linda. That's the easiest way to do it. Blue Bayou. And I don't always know where I'm going. <laughs> I feel so bad I got a worried mind I'm so lonesome all the time Since I left my baby behind I'm blue by you Saving nickels, saving dimes Working till that sun don't shine Looking forward to happier times On Blue Bayou I'm going back someday Come what may to Blue Bayou Where the folks are fine And the world is mine On Blue Bayou where those fishing boats with their sails afloat If I could only see the familiar sunrise Through sleepy eyes, how happy I'd be Gonna see my baby again Gonna be with some of my friends Maybe I'll feel better again 
I'm blue by you just thought of something. Linda just did Linda's song. Linda Ronstadt, oh. sung by Miss Linda Walden. I think it sounded better here today. But that's okay. All right, we're going to move on to another, another person who was one of the greats, one of the greats, and of course she, we lost her all too soon, uh, one of the greatest, greatest country singers of all time, Patsy Cline, and she was just coming into her own when, well, she made the mistake of taking a plane trip, and uh, well, there's, there's two possible uh, endings to that. Uh, one's against the side of a mountain, and one's on a runway, unfortunately. She picked the side of the mountain, or she didn't, but uh, circumstances did, and we lost her in 1962, I believe it was. But her first big hit, and she didn't want to do this to him. She didn't really like it. But again, as with uh, Crazy, which we're not going to do, it was the same thing. Cooler heads prevailed. But the Linda Ronstadt tune we're doing today, uh, like I said, it was her first big hit around 1957, where she went out all by herself after midnight and started walking around. So then she decided that she'd call it, I don't know, walking after midnight. That sounds logical? Okay. Yep. Little walking after midnight. <laughs> I go out walking after midnight Out in the moonlight Just like we used to do I'm always walking after midnight Searching for you I walk for miles along the highway That's just my way of saying I love you I'm always walking after midnight Searching for you I stop to see a weeping willow Crying on his pillow Maybe he's crying for me As the skies turn gloomy Night winds whisper to me I'm lonesome as I can be I go out walking after midnight Out in the starlight Just hoping you may be somewhere Walking after midnight Searching for me Maybe he's crying for me 
And as the skies turn gloomy, night will whisper to me. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm lonesome as I can be. I go out walking after midnight, out in the starlight. Just hoping you may be somewhere walking after midnight, searching for me. Somewhere walking after midnight, searching for me. Somewhere walking after midnight, searching for me. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, that's quite all right. And that was right where we break too, so it fit. It fit right in. In, at that part of the arrangement, we yeah, we, right. we break. Arranged, we arranged that. Yes. yes. Well, no, but it, it, it happened at the right time. Anyway, we are not going to worry about that. I'm not sure what we have coming up next. We have an instrumental. Oh! But I can't read your writing. Oh, well. Oh, I think I got it. Maybe I better introduce it. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. This tune, not a real well-known tune, um, the reason I got to know it was, of course, I've mentioned this fellow before, the great, late, unfortunately, late great uh, Art Van Dam, who was the innovator of this whole jazz accordion thing. He, he had this tune on one of his albums. I kind of liked it. And the only time I've ever seen it, remember the Dick Van Dyke show with Mary Tyler Moore? They, they did kind of a spoof where they dressed up in costumes on this particular tune. So. I, so it was nice to know that at least some people had heard of the tune, but it was written in 1926, and a great, great, great songwriting team, Rogers and Hart, they wrote great tunes like Blue Moon, uh, I think they wrote Anything Goes, and a lot of those great, great tunes. And this tune is called Mountain Greenery, which I guess fits right in with Moonlight in Vermont and no, not for mountain, but anyway, mountains and greenery and Vermont. Never mind, I'll just play the song. <laughs>
likes that last chord. I do. I end some of her songs on that chord, so she always, <laughs> whenever she hears that little riff coming Get down, little. she, yeah, gets all excited. It's wow. exciting. Yeah. Well, you know, we're kind of, kind of getting down close to our time here. And uh, this tune, well, I'll start off by telling you that this was voted the greatest song of the 20th century, and obviously, if it was the greatest song of the century, it was also the greatest movie song. And we almost didn't have this song. <clears throat> came from a movie, came out in 1942. Every little girl in America, if not the whole wide world, under the age of 10, has seen this movie at least 40 times. Mm -hmm. And it tells a story of a young, young girl with a doggy, and uh, she sings this song in a wheat field in Kansas. And when they put this in the movie, some of the producers and directors said, oh, yeah, who's going to believe a girl singing a song like this in the middle of a wheat field? Well, fortunately, cooler heads prevailed, as they say, and now we have our own person standing in the middle of the wheat field, Miss Linda, over the rainbow. <laughs> I gotta tell a story. I gotta tell a story. I should sit down. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard me mention probably no more than a thousand times in this show of a, a friend of ours, Mr. Corey Pesaturo. Three time, it's disgusting, three time world champion on accordion. And Miss Linda and I had done a <coughs> had done a concert a few months ago, and Corey was an invited guest, not to play, just to listen. And I guess when you're thirty something years old, sometimes you have trouble telling time, because we were back inside and all, you know, getting warmed up and everything. And and uh, my telephone rang. I said, I bet I know who that is. And the voice said, 
I'm here, where is everybody? So we dragged him in the house. And magically, I don't know where it came from, an accordion appeared. And we asked Corey if Linda could sing this song with him. I wish I had recorded it, I want to tell you. And of course, now she has the distinction of being one of the few people in the world to have sung with the world's greatest accordion player. And Corey Pesatura. It was a thrill. Excuse me? It was a thrill. I'll bet it was. It was, a th it was a thrill to hear it, let me tell you. All right, so that's, that's, a, that's enough storytelling for today. And we're at the end of our time. And uh, maybe if I just shut up, we can get out of here. But uh, as I say in, on all of our shows, you know, bring the young'uns here in to hear, especially tunes like Over the Rainbow. So we're going to close with our normal closer called Happy Trails. And happy trails to you folks. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you Till we meet again Some trails are happy ones Others are blue It's the way you ride the trail that counts Here's a happy one for you Happy trails to you Till we meet again Happy trails Happy trails, everybody. We're going to see y'all next time.